Dorian. Welcome to Altabots. It's a pleasure for us to have you here. Actually, it's not the first time. It's uh, the second time and uh, I think it's three years ago, four years ago, something like this. And uh, it was in, in another room, I think, in a, because the, the big room where I'm playing today uh, was, was not open mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, yeah, but I, I remember it was, was really nice and I'm, I'm happy to be back here. Yeah. Well, considering that now the room is bigger, that may change your set, maybe. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> bigger room and uh, yeah, it takes also bigger energy. So uh, I will definitely play a bit more like uh, forward uh, pumping. Yeah. Uh, may we ask if you already know which is going to be your first record? Mm, no. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> no, this is really, I, I only do it by, by intention and uh -huh. uh, I just have a look at my records and then I see what the, what the last records from the DJ before mm -hmm. uh, are and uh, after that I, I decide. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's step back now. If I, if I tell you the, the name Air Embargo, yeah. what does it mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> this means basically um, my, yeah, the, the beginning of, of my um, collection of, of uh, no, not really my collection of records, but the beginning of my, my work as a DJ. I was collecting records before, but um, this was a small uh, shop in the, in the Dorian Gray Club in, mm -hmm. in Frankfurt in the airport. And this was my first uh, job at a record store. This was in uh, 1992. How did you get there? Um, through a friend of mine, he was working there and uh, he introduced me to the guys and um, then I started working there and uh, there I, I also started like my, my uh, buying my first uh, records with uh, electronic music. Mm -hmm. uh, you have worked in other record stores in different Yeah, parts. yeah, in, uh, in Boy Records also, in, in located in Frankfurt. And uh, then for a very long time I, I worked with uh, with Freebase Records, actually until 2008. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it was like seven years from 2001 until 2008 I was working at Freebase Records. Mm -hmm. um, what's the best thing and what's the worst thing in working in a record shop? Hmm. The best thing? Access to all the new records. <laughs> For free. <laughs> the worst thing? <laughs> Some people, maybe on a Saturday, that haven't slept and uh, coming to the record store and uh, trying to sing uh, the record that they heard in the club or something like this. Yeah. Do you know the track that goes yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think, and especially on a Saturday, you know. Probably you have been playing yourself on a Friday, you don't have so much sleep and then you have this guy standing in front of you like singing the record and, <laughs> or trying to sing the record. And, uh, it can be really funny. <laughs> but were you rude with them or have no, you tried to be no, rude? Right? No, I mean of course uh, nobody's perfect and uh, <laughs> for sure there were some situations where, where it's just too much but in general I, I always try to be friendly with the people and uh, try to give them a good feeling mm -hmm. because I know when, when I started buying records myself Sometimes it was really like a pain in the ass to, <laughs> to go to the record shop because you didn't get, get like the, you didn't really get like the best feeling from, mm -hmm. from the people working at this shop, and it was really hard to get like the, the special records, and uh, so I tried to, to change it a bit, yeah, the, the feeling in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it was quite a turning point when you started a, a residency at Kogun, which is one of the biggest clubs mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, definitely. I mean, to be honest, um, I today I don't play there so often because I also have a, a, a residency in in, uh, in Robert Johnson, which is uh, yeah right next to to uh, located right next to Frankfurt in, in Offenbach, like a, a small city next to to Frankfurt, even smaller than Frankfurt, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, but now I'm, I'm since since the beginning of this year I'm uh, with Cocoon also for the for the booking in the in their agency and uh, yeah I'm very happy with this and so uh, I I play uh, yeah on uh, some Cocoon parties also. Yeah. Seems like we can say that you're now a superstar DJ. <laughs> no, 
No, I just uh, enjoy doing what I do. <laughs> what about this hectic life of DJs taking flights and playing the nights in just the airports, the hotels, um, and that's it? Is, is it really like this for you? It depends. I mean, sometimes when, when it's a really nice city or um, when you are in some other countries for the first time and, and the flight is very long, I think uh, Every once in a while you decide also to, to stay there for a little bit longer to really see something from, from the city or from the country. Um, yeah, but a lot of times it's only like in, out, next destination, in, out, with, less, um, with not a large amount of sleep mm -hmm. and yeah, it can, can get, some, uh, can get uh, quite hectic sometimes. Uh. Uh, did you have the time to, to form an impression of what the Italian crowd is? Mm. What does it look like? Yeah, I, I think it really depends on the party. Uh, mm -hmm. Like everywhere, you know, you have some clubs where it's definitely a bit more like uh, posh, you know, like dressed up people, expensive drinks, and showing off. Uh, showing off. And uh, then there are other situations like here where it's more relaxed. Nice mixture of people, maybe a bit more like an alternative crowd, mixed crowd, you know. And uh, yeah, I also I think I, I prefer this to to the other situation that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there a night that you particularly remember? Something like the best night as a DJ of your life? Hmm. This is really hard to tell. I mean, I work for a DJ now. I work as a DJ now for almost 18 years. So, which is quite a lot. yeah, which is basically more than half of my life, and uh, <laughs> and um, no, I I can't tell. I mean, of course, there are some situations that you always remember, but picking out one night is no, it's not possible. Do you see yourself as a DJ in the next eighteen years? <laughs> eighteen, maybe not, but uh, eight, I hope <laughs> at least. <laughs> Something like this. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for being here. Yeah, thank you for, for having me again, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to my set. Thanks again. Okay. <laughs> With people who understand the water system, we must study permaculture.